You might recognize all of this behind me. Today, I am back in Covington, Georgia. This is one of my favorite places. I love Covington. And uh, obviously a lot of movies and TV shows and everything are filmed here. For one, The Vampire Diaries, Dukes of Hazard, Remember the Titans, Friday the 13th, the list goes on and on. Today, I've never really done a full Vampire Diaries filming locations video. We're gonna do that today. It's, it's gonna be fun. And that building right there on the corner, uh, Mystic Falls Tours. It is uh, Hollywood of the South Tours here in Covington where they take you around and show you all of where they filmed and all that kind of good stuff. We're not gonna be taking that tour because we have Bella with us today and obviously she can't get on the buses and we can't leave her in the car so uh we're just gonna kind of take the tour ourselves. we're gonna go around and see some of the other locations from vampire diaries that were filmed here in the area and uh, this should be a pretty good day especially if you're into the uh if you got into that whole vampire craze and you uh watched vampire diaries at the time I am here in Covington filming, it is a weekend, so as you can see, uh, every parking spot is full, and there is a lot going on. You know, people, th this is a, a tourist destination where people come and uh, eat at the Mystic Grill and do all kind of shopping, and always a good time. And then there's a lot going on today, like I said, because of it being a weekend. The hit TV show from CW, Vampire Diaries, it first aired in 2009. It ran for eight years before wrapping up in 2017. And during the course of its run, it had four spinoff series. They uh, very much tried to take advantage of the massively popular supernatural fan craze of, of uh, vampires and werewolves and all that good stuff from the Twilight Trilogy. Vampire Diaries, though, is set in the fictional town of Mystic Falls, Virginia, and it follows the uh, leading lady of the show, Elena Gilbert, as she navigates through the supernaturally charged town as a teenager. Today, I am here in Covington, as well as a few other towns in the metro Atlanta area, and we're going to see uh, quite a few locations from this TV show. Like I said, they, they filmed it a lot of places over seven years. Both of these locations might look familiar. Obviously the Mr. Grill was used quite a bit in the show. And also the Newton County Courthouse here was used quite a bit in the show. It's a cruel, cruel world. Well, I was talking to Graham and she said the comet is a sign of impending doom. The last time it passed over Mystic Falls, it was lots of death. So much blood and carnage. This old firehouse here, 1870 is pretty cool. It's no longer a fire station but the bricks and everything are still the same from when they used to have the giant door for the fire trucks to come in and out. And they've turned it into a building now. One location TV and movie. Right here on the side is a mural. Yeah, that's a cool little mural. We're gonna walk in this store. On location gifts, TV and movie memorabilia. Just about anything you might want. Vampire Diaries. Oh look, that's the back of their chairs from when they were filming. Yeah. And they had their chairs. Oh, there's some of the banners that they used for filming. Welcome to the town of Mystic Falls. Mystic Falls Night of Illumination. Summer's End Picnic. Founders Day Parade. End of Summer Town Square Barbecue. Business District 1960 Presidential Election. Salvatore Jersey, Salvatore Boarding School for the Young and Gifted over there. The beautiful town of Blissfield, Bicentennial, Wickery Bridge. Here you go, 
uh, you can buy blood bags. I heard people talking about these before. That's gross. No, it's drink. That's gross. I hang blood for a living. I don't think that's it. But that's, that's just smart. cool. I'm just saying, that's just cool. So. Let's see. Here's some tennis shoes wore by the cast. Let's see, that one says Caroline. It's Elena's. Elena's. Tennis shoes down there. And there's a script autographed by the cast. And uh, I can't see who these Nike, I can't tell whose those are. It doesn't say. Up there on the top, there's Damon's uh, leather jacket autographed. And then that's the flannel shirt that he always wore. That's pretty neat. Oh, oh. oh this is from filming. Now I feel like a vampire. I was here at this intersection doing the uh, Halloween filming locations and had no clue that this home was uh, Elena's home in Vampire Diaries. This is the home they used for Elena. If you look, you can see all of these homes in the show. That house on the right, they built a white picket fence just for filming. I think you're probably gonna want to let me in. Just, and if you said look off this direction, you can see there's the top of the, the courthouse there, the, the clock tower right there. Here at the corner of College Avenue and East Street in Covington, Georgia, is this giant mansion back here, which in Vampire Diaries was known as the Lockwood Mansion. They even have a placard right there that says Lockwood Mansion. And apparently these people are tired, you know, they, didn't, they don't want fans bothering them. So on typical occasions, it looks like they cone it off with caution tape and all that. So I'm not gonna go up to the gate and disturb them, uh, setting off their alarm systems or anything. They got cameras on their post and everything there. So I'm, but we, you can get a pretty good shot of the Lockwood Mansion from here. This is another house they used in filming Vampire Diaries. Uh, this was called Graham's House. This was Bonnie's grandmother's house in Vampire Diaries. They used this bed and breakfast here in a flashback scene in Vampire Diaries. The Salvatore brothers, best friends. Wait, where did you learn this game? Camp outside Atlanta, one of the officers picked it up. We are now uh, at the College of Emory University in Oxford, Georgia. And uh, some scenes from the Vampire Diaries was filmed right here. They filmed a lot of scenes from the Vampire Diaries right out here in this quad area when they're moving here into the dorms at uh, Whitmore College. You can see the brick, you know, pathway under their feet and then the light post with the banners hanging from them. They filmed a lot of scenes right in here. You're dreaming about Stefan? They're not dreams, more of a feeling. There was a scene shot from right here out in front of the Fleming L. Jolly Residential Center when uh, Elena is moving. She's first going to school. She's first going to college at Whitmore College and they're moving in and her and her friend Caroline are standing right out here. And you can see these bushes right here behind them. You can also see where the large pillar is and the small ones. And then those two pane glass windows there. That shot was taken from like right here. This is the spot where they filmed that scene.
Maybe you should call So we can hear how happy you are with Damon? Absolutely not. I'll call you when he's ready. About a quarter of a mile down the road from the college, they filmed scenes in this house that's covered by the trees now but i'm walking down here so maybe we can get a shot the shot scenes here this was the frat house for the guys at whitmore university right there it's the spot where they film those scenes right there <laughs> I have come here before. This is the same exact barn that was used for filming Halloween, the Rob Zombie version of Halloween. And uh, they shot scenes of Vampire Diaries right here in this road where you can see that barn behind them. They would have been just right here in the road, right next to the barn. Why are you doing this? I can't be in Georgia. I, I wrecked my car. I don't know why they use these same spots for everything, but they do. Look, no one knows where I am. You can see them driving right down this road here in Vampire Diaries. It's crazy to be back here after I did the filming locations for Halloween. I saw all this, but never, I never once expected I would come back to this doing Vampire Diaries or anything else. This is a tight little road here, and uh, it's been busy as crap. For like the last 10 minutes, I've been waiting to walk up here because there's not a lot of room. But this bridge was used for filming Vampire Diaries. You can see Elena standing right in the middle of this bridge. You're not gonna jump, are you? Thanks for coming. The production crew also sent a truck over the rail of this bridge. It was supposed to be the truck where Elena dies in the show and comes back as a vampire. Matt, look out! They filmed all those scenes right here on this bridge. Telling you this is a busy little road and people like for example i'm here filming vampire diaries filming locations you see there's other people on the bridge doing the same thing look at this old car look at that that's sweet i have now made my way over to conyers georgia which i uh, very much intend on coming back to very soon and this isn't part of Vampire Diaries but Vampire Diaries did have an, a, a, a spin-off that was called The Originals and they transformed this little town here of Conyers into New Orleans and had like a whole Mardi Gras celebration and everything for their series finale of that show The Originals all of that was shot right here and because I was so close to it in Monroe, I figured even though it's not technically Vampire Diaries, I could come and uh, talk about it nonetheless because it, it's in that same universe. There's no wonder that they chose this area to look like New Orleans with the wrought iron balconies and the stone buildings and all of that. Uh, from what I understand, they did film the show down in New Orleans, so I don't know why they chose to film this one Mardi Gras scene here in Conyers, Georgia. But if you're going to film it here, it's a good thing to have it look like New Orleans. And it does with those balconies. Heck, that balcony there in the blue don't even have access onto it, so it may have just been built 
just for filming the show. He's in this mess because he's trying to save me, just like always. Look, you put him down, he got back up. In fact, I recognize this building here on the corner from that show already. Plus, you see with the wrought iron like deck up there and everything, it already looks like it's from New Orleans, but yeah. Up on that balcony, you can see Klaus standing there, and they shot that with an edited background to make it look like you were right in the middle of New Orleans at Mardi Gras, but he's just standing right there on that balcony. There was a scene filmed from right here at this like sports bar. They used it as a bar in the show. Damon and Elena come here. You brought me to a bar? You can clearly make out that white building directly behind them there. Plus, you can see the street sign that says uh, that this is the Emory in the shot on the show. You okay? Don't pretend to care. I know you're gloating inside. In the first few seasons of Vampire Diaries, they used this building, this um, old school here in Monroe, Georgia, as the uh, school that they went to, the Mystic Falls High School. Uh, seems though after the first couple of seasons, all of it after that was shot on studio, but for the first few seasons, this was the exterior of Mystic Falls High School here. Well, what are they doing? Walking. Yep, right into the In those first few episodes, uh, like every day, they're sitting out here in front of the school at these benches and stuff, eating lunches and just talking. Here's what we're gonna do. Are you free tonight? And then obviously they would come out these doors right here in the front. <laughs> that, 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 that. Out behind the uh, Athens Technical College is a football field. And if you watch Vampire Diaries in those first few seasons, maybe it'll look familiar to you. This is the uh, Mystic Falls High School field. Damn! Nice shot! Nice shot! Uh, they shot all those scenes here. Now, unfortunately, though, there was like six or seven seasons of that, and it has been now, the series was canceled, and that has been several years so uh things are a lot different out here right down here was the like concession stand and it had timber wolves home of the timber wolves or whatever painted all over her. that uh, concession stand set here it had like three giant windows on the front that you walked up to to purchase your hot dog or, or whatever and it's set right here on top of these concrete pillars. Unfortunately, like I said, they've removed it. But that's where it's set. Ooh, look at you, you look hot in your jersey. If you notice the four like power poles there in front of us, apparently at one point there was a shack right beside that that has now been removed. But this is the spot where all of the cheerleaders and Elena, they start practicing and warming up and uh, you know working on their cheer moves in episode two of Vampire Diaries. It's the spot where they filmed that, right there. This was the field. This was Mystic Falls field here. very seriously they showed that scoreboard in the series i don't remember but i i doubt it not with that massive coca-cola logo on it at least and all of 
those scenes were shot right here. Right here on this field that I'm standing on right now. Your favorite vampires played. You can tell this property hasn't been used in quite some time. The track has got grass and weeds growing through it. It's probably why they chose it for filming. It's maybe no longer a, uh, since it's not a high school anymore, they're not having high school events here. Those, that goalpost looks like it's made out of PVC pipe almost. Uh, so they, they, that, you know, that could have been erected just for filming. Maybe there wasn't a goalpost there. And they just threw, you know, PVC pipe together to make it work. The track and field marks are here. I'm sure they shot scenes of the uh, on these bleachers because all those TV shows do. They always, where the teenagers will be sitting in a group on the bleachers cheering for somebody who's out here doing something, or they'll be talking or gossiping or whatever. So I'm almost positive they probably shot scenes here. There was a scene with Elena right here on the side of the bleachers where she actually walks up and stands right up against the bleachers here. And there you go. All of you vampire buffs out there, you've seen a lot of the filming locations for the Vampire Diaries. That is... Uh, gonna do it for today and this video on the filming locations for the hit vampire supernatural tv show the vampire diaries i want to thank you all so much for watching i really appreciate it if you're new here go down hit that subscribe button then hit that notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a video if you're wanting to help support the channel check out the links down in the description box below thank you all you know what? I'll see you again tomorrow. Please stay safe and stay healthy. Much love to you all.